Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels, where we tell you the good, the bad, and the points of interest of your favorite cities. We do town tours, highway drives, and lists just like this one. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Daytona Beach, Florida. Number 10. Tourism. Don't move or visit Daytona Beach thinking it's a sleepy beach city on the Atlantic. It's that and a lot more. The hospitality industry here is strong to a fault. All year long, people flock here for the warm weather and ability to drive your car on the sand. Beaches, restaurants, shops, parks, roads, and hotels are constantly full and very busy. It will impact your everyday activities like going to Walmart and enjoying romantic sunsets with your sweet thing. With the influx of tourism year round, that means there is also more of a fluctuation in crime along with the congestion. Maybe you like being shoulder to shoulder with people, this won't bother you. But if you're looking for a quiet place to rest, look somewhere else. Number nine, critters. Do you like alligators? Do you have posters of Steve Irwin on your bedroom wall? Did you know that Florida has over 1 million alligators? Yes, that's 1 million. But wait, it gets better. Florida's home to more than 40 different species of snakes. Mix that in with all of the mosquitoes, ants, bees, wasps, and other insects, you'll quickly realize that Florida is one of the worst places you can go to if you don't like these little critters. All of the water, heat, and humidity make Daytona Beach a breeding ground and you'll look like a juicy snack. These things can be monster sized too. You have to make sure to take precautions to protect yourself. Number eight, low wages. An ocean city is expensive. We'll talk more about that later, but one thing that really hurts Daytona Beach is that for people who are lucky enough to find a job, they don't get paid much. Almost 30% of the city lives under poverty level. That's because someone can work a 40 hour work week and make just under 22,000 per year. That is 27% lower than the national average. 7% of residents are unemployed there too. Depending on what type of work you do, you'll find yourself barely making ends meet and that'll impact the lifestyle you want to live here. Number seven, NASCAR. A lot of people wouldn't have a clue about Daytona Beach if it weren't for NASCAR. It definitely put it on the map. People live there because of it and people travel there for it. Every year over 30,000 infiltrate the city and attend the Daytona 500 to watch these cars go in circles over and over again. It's an extremely popular event. If you aren't into NASCAR, you might not fit into certain social circles make friends, or be able to chat it up with the guy at the counter of the gas station. Daytona Beach really is a NASCAR lover's oasis, and it is offensive to locals to say otherwise. Number six, the crime. You'd think a city on the beach would be nice and peaceful, just full of people sitting on the beach, getting their tan on and loving life. Daytona Beach doesn't go without their fair share of crime. Although it's not as violent and dangerous as its neighbor Orlando, there are many risks visiting and living here you'll have to deal with. Violent crime rates there are 167% higher than the national average. It's no Detroit, but just don't let your guard down. You will have a 1 in 25 chance of becoming the victim of a crime. Taking that late night walk on the beach might hit a little different if you have to watch over your shoulder for less than notable individuals. Number five, the weather. Before you tell me how beautiful the weather is most of the time here and in Florida, I know, I get it. The weather can be amazing there and pretty sunny. When it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, the summers are brutal. You can expect temps above 90 from June through August. You don't have to worry about snow. There are also a lot of severe storms that come through the area, never mind the hurricanes you're subjected to. Florida also produces the third most tornadoes in the country and Daytona Beach is in Florida. While the weather can be pleasant, it can and will change quickly. Number four, retirees. 
Let me preface this by saying that there is nothing wrong with older people. They can be a lot more friendly and pleasant to be around than a lot of the younger people today. With that being said, Daytona Beach is a popular spot for retirees and snowbirds to wind up. There are a lot of places in the city designed for them like clubs, retirement communities, and bingo halls. This means that there are a lot of older drivers on the road, so commute times could be a little bit slower than the usual. It might be a good opportunity to go and make a new set of friends and learn how to do things like play bridge and sudoku the right way. Number three, higher insurance. Because of that threat of severe weather, including hurricanes, the insurance costs in Daytona Beach can be on the high side. It all depends on the type of home you have, the value of your home, and the location of which it sits. This won't affect you if you have a cheaper and smaller house that's not immediately on the water or has not experienced much damage in the past. If you have an expensive house, it will. On average, you can expect to pay over $1,600 for a $150,000 home. Many people who live here have houses that are well over $150,000, so the price of insurance will go much higher and you'll have to pay thousands per year for the ease of mind should anything happen. A relative cost if something actually does happen, but still hard to accept until the time happens. Number 2 flat. Florida is one of the most flattest things you'll ever encounter on your time on earth. If you're used to seeing things like hills, mountains, valleys, and bumps on the horizon, prepare yourself. The topography in Daytona Beach is pretty much a straight line. There are no nearby places to do any kind of mountain biking or hiking, skiing, snowboarding, sledding, or ice skating. You'll literally have to drive hours at least into the Georgia mountains to do any kind of amenities like that. But let's keep it real. If you're visiting or moving to Daytona Beach, it's going to be for the beach. Number one, expensive. If you want to live the best Florida life in Daytona Beach and utilize everything the city has to offer, you will have to pay for it. Housing prices there are moderately lower compared to other parts of the country, especially major cities. The average selling price is around $220,000 and homes are usually sold within one month of listing, most much sooner. Prices continue to rise each year as it definitely is a seller's market. To live in Daytona Beach as a family of four, it's estimated that you'll need to make at least $3,000 before any kind of mortgage or rental costs. This number is taking all the general costs of living expenses into consideration that you will encounter. It's important to make sure you have a decent job lined up or multiple people working and contributing to the household so you can afford to go and chill on the beach. All right, everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Daytona Beach? Maybe you hate it. Well, you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.